Okay, my friends, we are being played. What is a boondog? It's a project or activity that seems wasteful or pointless, often involving spending of funds for little or no return. It can also describe unnecessary, overly elaborate tasks and distract from more important work. The term is often used as a political context to criticize government officials spending on projects that are deemed ineffective or frivolous. And who's doing that? Fermi Lab, CERN. And who is in, in charge of, of communications? Don Lincoln. Who's Don Lincoln? Don Lincoln, is, he, is, does he represent Fermilab? Yes, he does. Don Lincoln is the physicist known for his work at Fermilab. He contributed significantly to particle physics research. He is also recognized for his efforts in science communication, often discussing complex scientific topics in an accessible way for the public. If you have specific questions about his work at Fermilab, feel free to ask. And now I did, and I showed him that we found the same particles they found. He immediately shut me off. I've been blocked. I am not allowed to speak. And he's called me names as a tinfoil hat guy and an embarrassment to science when he is the embarrassment to science and he we need a public investigation about this this is a boondoggle this is misuse of public funds and abuse of the public trust okay my friends i'm sorry to say that uh, fermi lab and cern and all the rest of them are running a boondoggle on us these particles have already been found and i can create them all day long and don lincoln who runs basically the interface between fermi lab and the rest of the world has me blocked will not allow me to talk told me i am an embarrassment to science and however here's his particles we found them Okay, there's a big announcement today from CERN how they have figured out the Z boson. Well, what is the Z boson? It's crucial for understanding the fundamental forces in the universe and has been studied extensively. And what it says is the decay of it can decay into various particles including pairs of leptons like electrons and neutrinos. We found these 10 years ago. Right now, this is just nothing more than a money vacuum. Now, I sent this to everybody about our research, and nobody's ever responded. This, I just, I got a, an email from a guy called Travis Humble. He says, we are looking into your research, and, and what you're showing is valid. And I find out it's not this guy. <laughs> it's another Travis Humble. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. But anyway, he's the director of Quantum Science Center for Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Another one we're paying billions of dollars to to come up with some kind of answers. And, and the answers are not allowed. Don Lincoln is the one. Now, will this guy talk? I just sent him an email, and I'll show you the email I sent him. It's right here. It's about... I want to speak to him about light acceleration and actually breaking the particles apart. Quantum computing requires disentangling the particles, and we did this. You see these right here? Look. Whoops. All right, here it is right here. This is Don Lincoln's particles right here, these two. And here it is. He found them right here. These are the two from Fermilab. There they are. This is his, his articles about her. What is this? But we found him. We finally found him. That's 10 years ago. I contacted him not too long after that. I said, Don, we have found these particles as well. Let me show you my experiments. Whoops. And um, he's, uh, he was as nasty as any person I've ever come across. And he blocked me, told me I was an embarrassment to science. I was a tinfoil hat guy. And here's his particles. And here's our particles. We used light. We didn't use protons smashing thousands and thousands of particles everywhere. We used light. We could see them here. We are being run a scam on us, a boondoggle. And Don Lincoln is the guy that should be speaking to me about this. Every, every thing he does, he puts down. Well, here, let me show you. Here's exactly what he puts at the very end. He puts down. Want a phrase to find? Have a question? <laughs> don't ask, don't ask, <laughs> because you will, you'll just get some kind of nonsense. Here's what he says. Let's start with the easiest point-like particle we know, the electron. That's what I just showed you, and it's a dipole, all right? Assume it has zero size. No, it doesn't. 
although we know the quantum realms differ from familiar world, yes they do, in which things are measured in inches and feet, he's talking about it has no size whatsoever, it's, it's, it's nothing. They, they just don't understand anything about this because they will not listen, they won't watch, they won't think. All they want is money. Give me more money and maybe we can figure this out. Don Lincoln is a real serious problem here and I want a congressional investigation. I want this investigated and you should too because our money is just being poured down the drain. It's a boondoggle.